we're looking for all the node voltages in this circuit. We'll be doing nodal analysis. So I'll call those two node voltages that we need to find VA and VB. Let's go ahead and start in on equation A. Starting with the westward current, we have 12 amps. Plus the northward current is minus 6 I1. Eastward current is VA minus VB over 40. And finally, the southbound current is VA over 10. Sum of all that equals zero. Now again, key point here is to completely ignore, uh, in this case, this is a control current for that current source. So we don't use the I1 yet. You simply write the equation according to your node voltages and ignore the other labels. Let's move on to B. Again, I'll start with the west bound current. We have VB minus VA over 40 plus northbound current is positive 6I1 plus current to the east is minus 2 because the 2 amps is pointing in the opposite direction plus right down here the southbound current VB over 20 and the sum of that equals 0. So right now in terms of our unknowns we have the two node voltages VA and VB and we also have I1 sitting in the equation. So we need our dependent, let's save a little time and write the whole thing out. So the dependent source control parameter needs to be written out in terms of the assigned node voltages. Again, I1 is the current through the 10 ohm resistor and that controls what's happening with this dependent source. So whatever current flows through the 10 ohm resistor this way is multiplied by 6 and that becomes the current or the value of the current source up there. So we can write that I1 is the same thing as VA over 10. So now we have three equations in three unknowns and the final answer that we get from solving that system of equations is 40 volts for VA and VB is minus